Welcome back to your Sprinkle with Hope podcast and your host Jason and Shane and I are bringing to you some passion today. So strap on your bootstraps today and I really hope that you get something out of this and do something with it today. I can be a pretty emotional person person, and I show that in the podcast, but it's simply because I am passionate about helping you. Every person who is hearing this right now, I'm passionate about helping you become a better version of yourself. So please listen to this, share it, subscribe to our podcast, our YouTube channel, uh, do anything to develop that passion within you. We love you. We care for you. We see you. We want to know you, connect with you. So here it is. Welcome to the Sprinkled with Hope podcast. Welcome back to your Sprinkle with Hope podcast and your host Jason and Shane and I are super excited to be with you today. We are the guests <laughs> on your show today. It's been a little while since we've done it in this fashion, but we're super excited to bring to you today something that is really near and dear to Shane and I's heart, and that is using your passion to your advantage. We've talked about passion before. Uh, we, we've talked about how to get that. Uh, today we're gonna I'm gonna approach it from just a little bit different angle but right off the bat we're gonna hit you with a quote because we love these but Steve Jobs who was the founder of Apple said your work is going to feel a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisf- satisfied is to do what you believe is great work and the only way to do great work is to love what you do if you haven't found it yet keep looking and don't settle As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And I just wanted to start with that because I loved the way that it talked about, it didn't say passion, but there was passion within that quote in, in that you don't need to settle for what it is that you don't want, right? And so you have to go after that thing that you really want to do in life. Um, so I'm going to talk about kind of four points about passion. Um, first point is what you may be interested in others may as well right so if you're looking at oh i i'm i have a passion for whatever it is you actually may find that other people have that same passion even if it's like totally off the wall weird thing that you want to do somebody else loves to do that so if you find that something you are passionate about this actually gives you an advantage believe it or not Um, so think about it this way. If others have that similar interest, you can help create or design a solution for others to use and see how to draw out their passion, right? There's always someone who has similar passions as yourself. Allow them to grow because you're growing. So you're actually taking your passion and helping others to move along. The second thing is don't box your passion in. And what I mean by that is let's take, for example, that you like to do art, art work, right? Art is your passion and that's your, that's what you want to do. So that doesn't necessarily mean like get an art studio in your house and have it all set up and ready to go. And you're going to start drawing on canvas tomorrow. What that means is like, let yourself use your passion to find other ways to create value from that passion. That can be helpful. Um, you, you can find other ways to to be around your passion, right? Maybe go to an art gallery with somebody at, and that way you can draw out that passion within you to to help create and fill your cup, so to speak, right? Or take somebody else with you. That way you can both get your cup filled. So it doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, my passion is, um, you know, driving a race car. So I'm going to go out and get a, new race car tomorrow right there's don't box it in and say it has to fit this specific mold let it kind of grow and and be outside of the box right think outside of the box the third thing is what whatever you are passionate about will help you as you're faced with difficulty um so what i mean by that is is um 
Passion doesn't necessarily mean that you will instantly create wealth and fortune and fame and all of those things. But what it can do is help you kind of create a realistic timeline. Um, Meaning it will allow you to stick with it a lot longer than you would other things. Um, So when others give up because the road to success is a little bumpy or others will give up, you will persevere right? Because you have that passion within you, that drive to continue, even if you hit these little bumps in the road. That ability to persevere is what will take you to either starting your own business, learning a new skill, growing that passion that you have. Um, you will then have the confidence you need because of you, you know, the fact that you persevered and you know that the idea works. And then the fourth and last thing that, that I'll talk about Uh, And then Shane can hit you up with what he's got. But passion motivates you to do the things necessary to grow and improve. So, and let me give you a a real example of that. So when I was a helicopter flight instructor teaching others to fly, right, I found out real quickly that a passion of mine is helping other people. And so um, with me going out and learning how to fly and, and teach others how to fly, it was really apparent that I really enjoyed doing those things and helping others to learn. So if I wouldn't have learned to fly, it would have been a lot harder for me to find that passion within me to, to help other people. I probably would have found it irregardless, maybe through different means, but it just helped me find it a little bit quicker. Um, now, now I love helping people right with both in my career and in the podcasting world to find hope and joy and and all those things that sometimes they feel like they lack. Um, So you could start down one path and find a totally different passion as you search for yours. That's so true. I think what you just said, you know, I was thinking I wasn't, I haven't been passionate about podcasting until we started a podcast and I wouldn't have ever considered myself passionate about this but it goes back to what you just said that you like to help people i like to help people uh this is part of our journey right now and our passion that we're living out is in real in real time and we're becoming more passionate about that because we like to help people and we hope we're providing great content we love to share uh quotes we always hit you with that when we when it's Jason and I. We also feel like when we have guests that we talk about their little nuggets that they provide, and those are their quotes that they're sharing with you. So we would encourage all of you to go back and listen to episodes you've missed or share our podcast with people, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just help us <laughs> be passionate about the things that we are and uh, help us on our journey. So surprise, surprise, I'm going to share a, <laughs> a quote. Uh, this is from Oprah Winfrey. She's a, um, she's a show um, host and just a lot of people know about her, but I love what she says. She says, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. And I want to dissect that because I love a lot of the words that she uses and then puts them to go together collectively. So she starts off by saying passion. And to me, you know, my wife has told me when I am passionate about something, I get a little bit louder and I <laughs> talk with a lot more energy. Like, yeah, that's true. Like if we're going to talk about sports, I'm going to raise the level of passion. And <laughs> that's just how I am because if I have, something that I'm passionate about, I let you know about it. And I honestly am super passionate about the podcast that we're providing to you. I honestly believe that we provide great content. And I hope that you, again, share it with somebody, talk to your family and friends about it, let them know all the things that we're doing. Um, you know, we, we've we had uh, several guests that are well-known and we're doing that for specific reasons in my mind. One, we're passionate about what we're doing. Two, we're going after that energy that Oprah talked about. Passion is energy. And I believe that. So we're sharing that energy with the world and the energy is coming back to us. Now, you don't have to be a podcaster to do that. You don't have to be an artist, an author, whatever you want to be passionate about. 
use that energy inside you to to help develop the passion that's in you. It, you can't simply sit back and wait for your passion to develop, to grow, to do whatever. You have to use that energy to develop it more and more. And then you're going to become like me and be more vocal and more loud. And just you're just going to change when people see what you're passionate about. And I just love that she started off by passion is energy. And I believe that. And she says, feel the power. The power is in you. All of the, all of this power is in you. Sometimes you just have to unlock it. And it could be talking to somebody. It could be listening to us. It could be listening to a guest. It could be anything. It could be something so small. But that power sometimes just needs to be unlocked by just a little small thing. It's in you. And then she says, focus on what excites you. So again, focus your mind, focus your heart, focus all everything you have. Again, that energy helps you focus on those things and do what excites you. I, would, I wouldn't have said that podcasting excited me before two years ago. It's super exciting now to me because I feel like we're giving the world little nuggets or advice or encouragement, um, all of the things that we've provided to help them or you become better. So I just, I wanted to dissect that a little bit. Um, that That's how I wanted to start. I love that. And I love that, that, that you're, you're absolutely right. We have the power and the energy within us. It's what we do with that, right? It's, it's how we move forward in the world with, with that power and energy you know, you know, we've often talked about failing fast. You and I, we've we've had this conversation over and over again, and and I, I want to kind of put that into a, a little bit different context as well, which is not just failing fast, but falling forward while you're doing it. Right. So you you know, sometimes we think the road to success is like from A to B, and it's not really that direct. It's more of a jagged line. It's more of a bumpy road, so to speak, right? It's it's hills and valleys. And but as you hit those um points that some people would call failures, right? I would just say they're stepping stones to the success that you want, but you're gonna fall forward, meaning you know, don't don't fall backwards and think, oh, that's a failure. Fall forward and let that kind of propel you along that path as you're learning and growing. Cause if, if you think about falling backward would be without growth, right? You, you're not growing, you're not learning, you're not understanding what it is that you're trying to do while using your passion or trying to find your passion. Falling forward is growing and learning while you're doing that. So it's not just like, how do I fall forward? Some people would say, well, that's how you do it. You grow and you learn. It's the same thing that Shane and I have done while we're learning how to podcast. When we first started, it, we didn't know what we were doing. We had no clue. It was a somewhat awkward conversation, and but we've learned over time at how to key in on each other and how to ask great questions from, from our guests and things like that. But we did that by moving forward and, and falling forward, learning and growing. Here's another quote for you, because we love quotes. Wayne Dyer, an American author, said, passion is a feeling that tells you this is the right thing to do. And I just like that because it's it's kind of that 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 thing that you know sparks in within you that says, Hey, this is the right thing. And like Shane said, we didn't know podcasting would be something we would enjoy. We started and said, Oh, this is it. This is the right thing. We knew it. As soon as we started podcasting, we knew exactly that this is the road that we wanted to be, you know, going down with, with pursuing your passions, this will help open new doors, right? So you could say, what, what is this passion going to do? Well, if you love something and you enjoy it, it could open new opportunities and things that are going on for Shane and I, it's opened the opportunity for us to speak to to groups of individuals. It's allowed us to meet some amazing people that we probably would have no, 
not otherwise been able to meet. And we've met people all over the world. And what an amazing thing that is. Um, so just for me to wrap up here, Warren Buffett has 10 keys or 10 rules for success. And he said, one, find your passion. Two, hire well. Three, don't care what others think. Four, read, read, read. Five, have a margin of safety. Six, have a competitive advantage. Seven, schedule for your personality. Eight, always be competing. Nine, model success. And the 10, the, la the one I love the most, other than number one, um, 10 is give unconditional love. And I find that interesting that that's his 10th one for rules to success. Uh, Harriet Tubman, an, an American abolitionist, said this, always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. And I just loved that and wanted to end with, with take that passion and reach out there. Reach for goals that you think are not even attainable and then put little stepping stones along the way to get you to that ultimate goal. Cause I think you can do it. I know you can. Yeah. I, I love that you talked about falling forward. I hadn't even thought about it until you said that, that a lot of people think that it's failure, but if you're falling forward, does that really matter? Right. It doesn't, it really doesn't because you can, in your mind, you can think, oh, I just failed, but you're actually falling forward. So as long as you're going forward, as slow or fast as it is, it doesn't matter. You're learning and you're growing and you're developing. You're getting that passion. You can you can sense it in me that I'm getting a little bit louder because I want you to see that we're passionate about what we do. We truly are. It comes down to helping people. And I'm passionate about it. I can't tell you how much I am so passionate about that. This is an avenue that we're using right now to do that, to help you. You, you have to decide what you're passionate about and then go and do it. You know, I, I wouldn't have again said that I was passionate about podcasting, but I can, I want to, I wanted to share some personal experiences of things that I've just recently gone through. So I do this because I love it. I love to help people. We, Jason and I talk a lot about, because we look at where you're from and those things. We we hope to someday meet all of you that follow us, that have been th with us from the start. Uh, if you want to reach out to us, you can do that. We've shared our emails. We'll share it in this episode in the notes. Um, but I got a call from my sister-in-law, somebody who's very close to me. The other day, she called me and said, Shane, I want you to know something. <laughs> I wasn't going to cry, but I'm so passionate about helping people. And when it's people that I love and care for, it makes it even better. So she called me and said, Shane, I can't tell you how much your podcast has helped me. I thought, wait, what? First of all, I didn't know that she followed us as closely as she does. So that touched me. And I thought, here's somebody that's super close to me that I'm helping, but I didn't even know it. So that's what I'm talking about is the passion that I have helps people. And I, I was surprised and encouraged and uplifted. And so to me, it helps my self-confidence. It helps my self-awareness, but I don't, I don't do this to, to grow my self-confidence, those experiences help my self-confidence. I don't do them to grow it. So when you find something you're passionate about, it's going to develop your self-confidence and you're going to, you're going to find it. You just are. Yesterday at work, I was talking to a coworker, again, who I'm very close to, who I am helping develop and coach and guide. And he was saying, uh, I, I was asked to be on this video for work and I said, yeah, I'll do it. And then he, th he got some more of the, more of the details and said, Oh, Oh, I can't do that. And so he backed away and said, Shane, you could do it. You do that all the time. I, and I thought it comes down to self-confidence. I know he could do it. 
I know he could do it. Honestly. But he might lack a little bit of self-confidence to be in front of a camera. You know, that's really all it is. And again, I know he can do it, um, but maybe it was just that self-confidence that he lacked um, that made him back down a little bit. Um, my Another quote I wanted to share, and I didn't look up who this person is, but her name is Marie Forleo. And she says, you can't find your passion thinking about it in your head. That goes to everything Jason and I talk about. It's action. Passion can't just sit in you. And if you do nothing, it's going to grow and develop. It won't. It simply won't. You have to take steps. You have to fall forward. You have to uh, just develop that passion in you, not simply by thinking about it, but do something. Do something. If it's if it's that you want to be an artist, paint something today and then share that with somebody that you know. Show them that you're passionate about art and you're going to develop that more self-confidence the more you share that with other people. It's not just passion to me is not just about us. It's about sharing it with others. I'll, I'll mention our podcast again. We're passionate about helping people. If we didn't share it through a podcast, we couldn't reach all of you. We simply couldn't. We couldn't speak to the well-known guests or all of our guests. And when I say well-known guests, it's people that you and I would typically know. But I am so grateful for all of the guests that we've had. To me, they're all well-known. They're part of our podcast family. You just might not know their name yet. But go back and listen to all of the episodes and you will find a connection with every one of our guests. The one that I found, I love every one of our guests and I, I honestly hope someday to meet them. Again, I feel like I'm getting a little more loud because I'm passionate about this stuff. The other thing that it's taught me is getting out of my comfort zone and expanding my comfort zone. You know, I wouldn't have considered myself somebody that would be comfortable in front of a camera or in front of an audience. I love doing that. <laughs> I love it. It's such an adrenaline rush for me. And people say, well, don't you get nervous? Mm, nope, not really. I really don't. I actually get more excited than nervous because I feel like I'm expanding my comfort zone. It's giving that, me that self-confidence that that is boosting me up. and and then my comfort zone is expanding. So I don't have those fears and anxiety and nervousness that I might have had before. Uh, it's expanding that into new territory for me. I'm talking about me. You know, as I share these things that I love and I'm passionate about, it expands that comfort zone that I have. And then it empowers me. It empowers me to do things that I might not have wanted to do in the past. Um, so I know if you do that, if you go back to the quote I just shared and you act on your passion, that it's going to do the same things for me or for you that it did to me. I love that. And I just, I, as you were talking, I, I had a thought come to my mind and I just wanted to share it real quick. And it was something I shared on social media the other day and, and it's actually going quite far. Um, and that is, is what, uh, if we had something that was negative, a negative post, political, something like that, it would go like a wildfire. But if we were to share positivity, like we do those negative things, it would go, you know, how much better would the world be if we all shared something positive? And, you know, Shane and I have talked to a lot of people who have gone through some very difficult situations in their life, but on the other side of these difficult situations, they've found hope and love and joy and all of these things that we've talked about, and they are continuing that journey, right? It's not an easy one. It's not just a light bulb switch and all of a sudden you have hope. It's something that you constantly have to work at. And it's the same thing that Shane and I feel like we've just had to grind, grind, grind to, to share this positive message throughout the world. And how much easier would it be out there 
if we had all of you share an episode or two or a hundred of your favorite episodes to somebody who you feel could use it, this world would be a better place because of that positive message going out as opposed to a negative message or something that's going to, you know, pull out hatred and, and all of those things that that's just not w- what Shane and I are about. And so do yourself and, and the person next to you a favor and share the, share a message that has really hit home with you to them today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Just do it. And you, it may feel weird to share a message like that, but find some a guest or Shane and I, one of the episodes that we've done ourselves and share that with them and see, see what comes of it. I I'd be curious to hear about that journey and, you know, Give us an email, shoot us a message, send us something on social media. We're Shane and I monitor those all the time. We're always on those things to 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 just make sure that you're hearing our message and it's that it's loud and clear. Our message is hope, light, love, helping others and and growing in the process. And so anyway, we love you guys. We we hope that this is an episode that you will will help you find your passion and help you bring better uh better stuff to your life better things in your life that you if you find those passions you will be better and so thank you guys for listening and we'll talk to you next time